Hey everyone, we are at the New York State Solar Farm warehouse where we have all of our solar panels back here. We have our little demo roof for training. And then we also bring this to different trade shows. And the reason I'm here right now is because my span smart panel just got delivered. We are gonna bring this back to my home, which I call the powerhouse, unbox it, check it out, and uh, see it for the first time. Can't wait to uh, see what's inside. Wow guys, first thoughts, this span panel is a little beast. It must weigh 50 or 60 pounds in this box and I'll leave a little blooper of when I was just taking it out of the car and I dropped it. <laughs> what we're thinking, let's do this on my house first. The same way we did the power walls at my house before we offered them to any of our customers. So before, we offer anything to any of our solar customers, I always want to use it myself. So that's exactly what we're doing here. I haven't taken the course on SPAN yet. The only information I've gotten is through talking with them directly, educating myself on other people's videos, and I think I have a fairly good grasp of what SPAN is all about, and I'm pretty psyched to be using it. What I could equivalent SPAN to is basically you see this ring on my finger, this is the aura ring. And the aura ring, it's just, a, it's constantly tracking you, it's monitoring you. It's, it's a electronic wearable device that is just always going through your vitals, your information. Yeah, believe it or not, this span ring, uh, this, I called it a span ring. This aura ring actually works because when I was sick, the ring had a notification in there in the app and it said, hey, your body temperature is up. It seems like there's something wrong. And that's exactly what this span panel does. I know I'm getting hyped on it right now. I don't know if it works the way it's intended to. I'm assuming it does. You know, they've, they've launched it, other people are using it. I'm gonna put it to the test myself and really see it. But what it does is, let's just say your refrigerator is using way more energy than it should be meaning that the compressor or something is going wrong on it, the span panel will notify you, hey, your fridge is using double the amount of power it's been than, than it did last month. It's using a lot more power. There might be something going on with it. So those are the notifications you can get directly from your main service panel. So really, the Aura Ring, which is like a wearable device, this is a massive aura ring for your home. This is gonna tell you exactly what's going on in your home, devices that are running, and then it's also gonna tell you if you have a battery system, like I do, and if you added more heat pumps, like I have, to my home, I'll show you right over here, this is the one that I just put in my little office down here. So there it is. Right now our home has four heat pumps, an electric car charger. What I could do in a blackout now is get more power out of my batteries by shutting loads off directly from the app inside, directly from the span app, I could shut loads off from my phone. So we'll get more into it, super excited. Sorry, this was long-winded, but this is the final key to setting up my solar batteries and finally our span panel, which we're gonna unbox right now. Here we go. 
All right, instead of just unboxing this the normal way, I've only done this three other times and it was with the power wall, the sun power panel, and now it'll be with the span panel. I wanna to try to make a stop motion video of the, uh, the smart panel. So not that good at them, only done three of them, but I figure let's make this interesting and you could watch me run back and forth about a hundred times as I take pictures and try to keep everything in the exact position. Here we go. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed me running in circles, taking a little stop motion of this uh, panel. That was a good workout. If this panel, first impressions, if this panel works as good as it looks, it's gonna be pretty amazing. Second impression, you could totally tell the founder of this company is, I think his past life was from Tesla, is what they told me because this looks identical to the Tesla Gateway 2. It's got this glass in the front, metal in the back. This third impression, the metal casing on this service panel is more brolic than any main service panel that we have installed for our customers. So this was the first look at it. I'll give you more details. We'll go sit at the desk now. And while I'm on the way to my desk to give you more details on this span panel, let's see how that stop motion came out. Let's see if it was a waste of time or it worked out. Here we go. All right guys, we're back at the desk. I hope you liked that little stop motion video. That was fun to make. Since I last saw you guys and since I made that video, I actually was able to take my SPAN certification. And these are some of the notes that I took um, from that course. There's a lot of other things to know, but these are the things that were important to me that I'm gonna bring up to our customers when they're considering a SPAN panel. So I'm gonna do a screen share. Uh, I have these notes on my iPad and I'll go through a couple of those and then I'll also go through the app that they have. You could Anybody could download the app and you could do a demo of what it's like. So let's dive into just a couple of my notes on the span panel. Just some 101 stuff, good things to know. The first thing, so you absolutely need a Wi-Fi or internet connection. Why? Because this span is connected to that mobile app and you need to have a secure internet connection for it. The best inter internet connection is an ethernet connection. Um, the third, uh, the second would be a Wi-Fi. The third, there is a cell card, but if one of our homeowners was like, hey, I wanna use the cell card, we're like, we're, we would probably be like, we can't install this at your house, mostly because we're putting these main service panels in people's basements where there is no cell service for a cell card that is inside of a metal service panel. So first note, need Wi-Fi um, to get the span main service panel. Second note, it's a 32 circuit panel, but you could tie a sub panel to the span. So that's good to know that you can tie the sub to the span panel, but that sub panel is not gonna have the capabilities to shut breakers on and off because those breakers are in the sub panel, they're not in the span panel, but you can tie sub panels to it. The next thing is a 400 amp split bus panel will only work with one of the loads, or you could do two span panels, uh, 200 and 200. Um, 120, 208 service is not allowed. It's only compatible with 120, 240 services. That's good to know. Some homes that we work on closer to the boroughs in New York City um, have a 120, 208 service. So that's when we run into it. Not a lot, but happens. Um, the next thing is span accepts breakers from 
all major manufacturers. My service panel has square D home line breakers. I could take those breakers and put them inside of the span panel, which is pretty cool. And it's compatible with most major manufacturers. Um, it's compatible with all solar. That's great. So whatever your solar system is that you have on your home, it could tie into the panel panel and it's compatible with LG chem batteries, Tesla power walls and solar edge. Um, load shed with energy storage. Obviously this is the big one because you could shut loads off directly from your cell phone um, inside the service panel. I'll show you more about that inside the app. The next thing is span does not currently support generators unless they're paired um, with Tesla power walls. So that's something good to know that you can't just um, tie this span panel in with a generator and expect it to work. It will not. Right now it only works with um, the Tesla power walls and uh, generator as backup. All right, so hopefully that, hopefully that was helpful. Now let's dive into the app. I haven't played with the app too much. This is just the demo on their site. My sis, I still did not hook up anything yet. That's gonna be in future videos, but this is just their app and what it looks like. So this is pretty cool. You're on the home screen, it's showing you the solar, showing you the grid, showing you the batteries there, and how it's all working inside the span panel. The next thing you have here is the circuits on the bottom. And how cool is that? You can see what each circuit is using. So right now, most of our solar apps or monitoring or Tesla apps or sun power apps are just showing you total usage. This is showing you per circuit usage. That is pretty friggin' awesome. And it's cool that you could shut them on and off from here. Okay. This video has gone on a little longer than I wanted it to. Um, if you find these videos helpful um, or you found this video useful, please subscribe and like this video. Um, if you didn't find this useful, uh, make like you never saw it. Okay, to the main feature that I am pumped about for this, you go here and back up. So these are your must have circuits, you could break them into. So in a backup situation, you could group your circuits that you want to have in priority order from must have circuits, nice to have circuits, and non essential circuits. So you could break your circuits all down and you could move different things. So if you want the backyard lights, I believe you could click it and move those into another category as well. But the cool thing is, is it shows six hours and seven minutes on the must have circuits left running at the current rate that you're running. On the next one, nice to have circuits, you have an hour and 46 minutes left on your battery with the nice to have circuits on and running. So it gives you the ability to get more out of your batteries by knowing how much time you have left with the circuits you have on and being able from the comfort of your app to shut things on and off from your cell phone. We're gonna dive more into this, more videos to come on the installation of the span when our electricians are here, when we're ripping out the old panel and putting in the new one, um, we'll get a video on that entire process. So I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and stick around for the journey of changing the way that our homes are powered. Hopefully it sparks your interest to change the way your home is powered as well. Thanks so much and see you in the next video. Peace.